behind me, what you'll see is uh, you see the, the, the levee kind of dropping, then you'll, you'll have the uh, concrete slope paving, and then there are trees. And so the trees are usually above, above water. It's what we call the batcher. It's a space between the river and the levee. So you can kind of see by based on the tree line how high this water is. You know, in, in New Orleans, we, we create what we consider uh, an artificial crest of about 17 feet, but the levees themselves are much higher than that. Um, the design level of a levee is 20 feet, but then what you have to do is you have to go on and build freeboard, additional levees, lanyard of uh, three to five feet, and depending on where you are. So our levees in New Orleans generally run between 20 and 25 feet. And what we're on is a seepage cutoff wall that we put in place um, after the 2011 flood fight where we noticed we had some seepage as we were inspecting. As you notice, you could see it coming through um, in certain areas and we'd mark it to where we would see the seepage that would come off from the levee. Each day we'd get out with our device, we would take a picture and we would walk the bottom of the, on this side of the levee, cross the street and look on both sides to make sure we're not seeing any flow. And in that flow we're looking for clear water Seepage occurs naturally all the time just because it's built out of uh, clay and underneath the clay is we have certain sand layers and the water would travel through. What we're looking for is if we see some sand that are in that water it could potentially be taking sand from near the levee or under the levee which could then potentially maybe make the levee fail. Um, we're also looking on not only on this side we're looking on the other side if there's any barges that are close or if any of the slow pavement um, looks like it's been hit maybe, um, just anything that, that needs to be repaired. So what we want to maintain is to make sure that water is clear. If we do see muddy water, we'll take a video and we inform and we can call with our device. We can get this back to the district within minutes and then we'll get out here and perform the necessary actions that are required by our engineers. We're going to make sure that we're not seeing any more seepage. That should be drying up as the water level on this side equalizes or is going to be below what we have here in elevation and then we're going to make sure we don't see any damage that may have been occurred from barges, large trees that are normally washing up there that uh, can damage the slow pavement that can cause erosion that could um, take out portions of the the flood side or also of the batcher and uh, we'll make those necessary repairs. We'll contact the levee district to uh, put clay material back if it's been removed as well as any uh, of the cement that's been damaged on the flood side batcher. So our peak flow that we're looking at for Bonnie Carey is around 203 to 205,000 cubic feet per second. That is with the 210 bays open and we'll probably hold that 210 bays through probably January the 25th is what we're looking and then you'll start to see a slow close. We believe that we'll probably end up operating Bonnie Carey through around the 6th of February. So in total spots, when, when I say total spots, we're looking at seepage, sand boils, um, any encroachments, any barges that are too close to the levee, any debris on the levee, we're looking at about 180 today. Now, when you're looking at seepage, you're looking at 93 points between New Orleans and Old River Complex above, New or uh, above Baton Rouge. One of the key components that we have to do throughout as the water rises and as the water falls is stay in close communication with the Coast Guard. As our inspectors uh, go through, they will notice you know, what we call an encroachment, a barge or a ship too close, and we'll notify them uh, of the Coast Guard, let them know what we're seeing. In addition, we also are updating the Coast Guard with the flow. What's the, what's the speed, the velocity of the river that we're seeing? Because that'll help them with uh, working with the navigation industry and keeping uh, everything safe. We have inspectors out uh, every day, and they're looking at the levee. But nobody knows the levee better than the people who live next to it. So if anyone sees anything that's unusual or just suspect or just different, give us a call, notify us, let us know where you are. We take every report seriously and we inspect every report. Um, it does help us ensure that the system performs as designed.